This past summer, Wacom announced their new 24 and 32 inch Cintiq Pros. They gave us some pictures and a nice video, but it's February, what is going on? It looks like things are progressing. Wacom announced on their Facebook page last month that these devices are going into mass production right now, and that they're hoping to announce availability by the end of this month. Something very similar happened last year with the Cintiq Pros after they were announced. They said they were gonna come out in December or January. It turns out that at least for the 16s, they didn't come out until April. I've learned after watching Wacom for the last two years that they're not really a launch date kind of company, they're a launch window kind of company. So here's a quick spec rundown. 24 inch Cintiq is a full 4K display, Pro Pen 2 with 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity and it will cost about two thousand dollars now the 32 inch Cintiq also has a 4k display also has the pro pen 2 with 8192 levels of pressure and will cost three thousand three hundred dollars Wacom has started taking these to trade shows to show them off yesterday Wacom posted a video SolidWorks took at one of their shows basically showing off one of their big 32 inches they had on display the reason I'm bringing this up is because the guy demoing it says some interesting things and I'm just gonna cut straight to the part of the video where he talks about how you can connect any computer to it this one attaches to any computer you throw at it. Okay. Right? And in fact, if you if you look back here, and I'm, I'm not going to give away the ghost here, but you notice <laughs> that there's a slot where something may have actually eventually end up going in there okay. to, to create possibly an all-in-one kind of scenario. So it sounds like there's a real chance that Wacom might take these and turn them into an all-in-one computer type thing. I think it makes even more sense if you took like say a mobile studio pro and like fit it on inside like if that slot was almost like a docking station for your mobile studio like a nintendo switch but for drawing in terms of actually producing an all-in-one computer i don't really think that's totally practical maybe somebody somewhere wants that sort of thing i think wacom's strength is in the screens and selling the screen separately just for something that large makes a makes more sense. The other thing to note here is that if a Mobile Studio Pro does fit inside of that sleeve, you're talking about $6,000 worth of hardware right there. I think for a lot of artists, if you're gonna buy a 32 inch Cintiq Pro, that screen's gonna last you a decade and the guts inside of it, a computer type thing, you're gonna wanna upgrade every couple years, maybe three or four times in the time that you have your Cintiq Pro. So, so I don't know. Don't totally see the appeal, but kind of an interesting idea. The other thing that I pulled from this video is the stand. Stand is probably the wrong term for this. Maybe mount or scaffolding is a better term. This thing is huge, and so the mount has to be as well. It also looks pretty much identical. It's hard to tell exactly to the mount that's currently being used on the 27 QHD. Overall, I think that's a really good thing. If the mount already exists, and if it's already in production, then as soon as you get your new Cintiq Pro, you can go out and buy it. That was a problem with the Mobile Studio Pro is those devices that they didn't actually have the mounts ready on time they came out a full year later side note the very first comment on the post announcing that the pro is going to production is someone asking for the mobile studio pro stand with three question marks three question marks i almost feel for the guy like he's got his mobile studio pro it's been sitting in the box for the last year and he's like i can't use it yet i don't have a stand i feel for him also in the photo they released it looks like the new cintiqs have feet so you will be able to set them up at least on a small angle without purchasing an extra stand or mount or anything. So that's what I know. Do you know anything? You can let me know down in the comments. Also, you can let me know what you think of the new Cintiq Pros that are coming out. That's all I've got for this week. Thanks for hanging with me. Uh, this video is a little bit late. I have been a little bit under the weather. Hopefully, I'm able to edit out any coughing that I do throughout this video, and it's not too obnoxious. But I'm on the mend, so I'm gonna be back next week, full power, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.